Hey everyone, I hope you are all safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing functions in Python. In the previous video, we have seen like how to return multiple values from a function and how to use multiple return statement within one function, right? So now we'll be doing one coding exercise, simple one. And that is, you have to find out number of days in a month. Suppose I enter like January, then it will tell number of days are 31, February 28, like this, like December 31. Okay, but here is one twist. If it is a leap year, in that case, in February, we are having 29 days. So, that also you have to apply that logic. If the year is leap year, then suppose two <coughs> things user will enter. First is enter a year. Suppose I am entering year 2023. Enter a month. Month we will be entering not January, February, like 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. 1 means January, 2 means February, like this. So, I am entering like 2. So, 2 means Feb February. In February, 23 number of days, 28, like this. But if it's 2024, that would be a leap year. So, it will give 29, <coughs> right? So, you have to apply two logic. One is that first need to check the year is leap year or not. If the year is leap year and the month is February, the month is 2, then it will return 29. Right, we are basically uh, doing this exercise with the help of functions. Okay, otherwise, according to uh, you know January, February, and like this, it will give number of days 31, 28, 30, and like this. Right, so one thing we have discussed how to check a year is leap year or not. The link of that video I'll put in the side button, you can check out that video first. In the that video, we have clearly you know defined, clearly uh, you know defined, you can say, or discussed a flow chart as well as. How to uh, how to find uh, how to find out if a year is a leap year or not, right? With the help of program, also I have shown. So you can check out that video first, then come to this video. Okay? I hope you got what is the problem statement, what you need to do, right? Now pause the video and try this out. Okay, so I hope you have done this exercise. Now let's do it together. Let's create a new file and like I'm um, naming it days in month dot py. See this is a one coding exercise in which we were checking, we were checking like the year is leap year or not. So this logic we are going to use in a, this program also. So two input you need to take from user. First is year and second is month. Using input function we will be taking this input. Now we will be defining a function. Suppose the name of function I am taking like uh, days in month because we are checking number of days in a month. So what you will pass? Two argument obviously year and month. Okay, so this is what we are calling this function. So before calling obviously you have to define this function. So how to define def same name you need to take days in month and two parameters. So two variable you need to take either you can take same like year, same name year and month or you can take different name that is also fine like y m, m or any other thing okay now you need to check see what we will put there is one condition if year is leap year and the month is february month equal to equal to 2 in that case it should print 29 otherwise it will print according to like 31 28 30 like this right so we have we have a list like days list, I'm taking a name days list equal to for January, it's 31 days. Then at second index, like February 28, like this. So this list we are having. So like at zeroth index for month first, January, we will access 31, then 28, 31, like this. From this, we can access days in a month according to whatever day you provide. But here one condition we need to pick like this. If like I am taking year is leap year. One is this thing. Obviously, it is not a proper condition. We will write down that condition. But this thing you need to put, right? Or let's write down it's only leap year. And, and month should be month equal to equal to 2. Means February. Means 2. January 1, February 2. Like this we are mapping the months. 
then we are not printing we are returning then it this function should return 29 else you can use else or simply without using else also we can write down that that condition that thing else what it will return from this list we will be accessing number of days okay so provide the list name days list and what index you will provide whatever month you will enter but that is not correct because month if I am entering month is 1 means it should fetch this value 31 but this value at list is from at 0th index because index is starting from 0 0 1 2 3 4 like this not 1 so we should give here month minus 1 then it will give correct value if month I am providing 1 then 1 minus 1 is 0 so days list and index is 0 at 0th index we are having 31 so it will return 31 I hope you got this right but how to check if it is a leap year or not this logic we are having leap year logic right so let's copy paste this thing and before this function suppose this is our logic right for finding leap year so what we can do we can just define a function here for checking leap year def like leap underscore year and what we will pass in parameter only year right and this logic we can put within this so we have to put this thing in indentation as an indented block within this function right so if the year is leap year like if it is divide mod 4 it is divided by 4 completely then we will check if it is divisible by 100 if true then we will check if it divisible by 400 then only it will be a leap year right else not a leap year but if a number is divisible by 4 but not divisible by 100 then it is a leap year and if a number is not divisible by 4 then it is not a leap year so rather than printing leap year and not leap year we are just returning true and false okay so whatever it whatever it this function will return that value we will accept here so means in this in this condition we are calling this function leap year so if leap year and have to call obviously parameter we have to pass year right and month equal to equal to 2 so if it will return to so rather than leap year what you need to do here just write down true and if it is not a leap year then it should return false here same return true and here return false right so whatever it will return we will fetch we will accept here so if it is returning true means it is a leap year true and month equal to equal to 2 means true and true then it will return 29 if it will return false like it is not a leap year then obviously we will not check this condition because here it is and to be uh, you know to make this condition true both should be true but if here is not a leap year then it will return false means false means we will not enter into this if part and else will return days list month minus one whatever month you will enter right so just because it is returning we are not printing here so we have to accept that thing in a variable like let's suppose days and simply we will print that variable days okay let's run this and see what output you will get here definitely pair oh it's an invalid syntax where we have c this should be here now let's run this enter a year year is two zero two three and month is supposed to means February it's 28 let's run this again and let's enter a leap year so two zero two four would be a leap year okay month is 2 it should print 29 
see it is returning 29 right or any other we can also enter like if 2022 and it's 5 means may may is 31 so it will return 31 okay i hope you got the logic it's not so tough if you are not getting this it's okay you can take a break you can just write down this thing the complete logic on a piece of paper and write on this manually rather than on your laptop one by one like first this line then this line then this will happen then calling of the function like this and like this then definitely we'll get it so see in if statement we can write down any expression like any condition like this or we can call any function and like this right so here we are not printing the values we are returning values so what is the difference between print and return when we should print the values when we should use print when we should uh, you know use return in a function right so this thing we'll be discussing in next video right so i hope you have got this coding exercise now in the next video we'll see what is the difference between print and return these are two different concept right so now it's in the next video till then bye bye take care